Hello my happy scrappy friends, it is Jess here and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. So for this layout I used the exclusive cut file that is the Lunar Eclipse uh, and I knew as soon as I saw that striking blue colour study paper that I had to use the Eclipse for this particular, with this particular background paper, it was just stunning. So I pulled out the sequence that we got in last month's kit and made a little shaker pocket with the moon because that's super fun. Um, I actually just hand stitched my plastic on the front. Uh, it's just a Ziploc bag that I used. Um, I hand stitched all the way around. That's the only way it's sealed, but it's working perfectly. It seems super secure and I'm really happy with it. And I didn't have to fiddle around with double-sided tape and foam tape and things like that because I always find that super tricky. So gluing all that together so that's the kind of base of my layout there with the cut file um, and then I've got these two photos thank you to Lara my friend who gave me permission to steal her moon photos because I could not take a nice moon photo um, you can see from my selfie that that was about the quality that my moon photo got so thank you Lara for sharing yours on Facebook and giving me permission to sneak those um, I don't know about you guys, but when this eclipse was happening, it was a little bit late for me at past 10 o'clock and it was super, super, super cold. So I kept like popping in and out because I kind of wanted to see it, but I also just wanted to go to bed. So I snuck in and out of the house a few times. Um, I saw sort of most of the phases of the moon, I would say but I certainly didn't stay outside or stay in view of it from inside for the entire thing. Um, but I feel like I, I saw it and I actually think this might be the first eclipse that I've ever actually seen because I think we've had other ones within my adult time, but the cloud cover was terrible for a couple of them as well. Whereas with this one, I feel like I, yeah, I actually got to see it. So that was pretty cool. So I definitely wanted to document that. And, you know, I love my children, but I also love documenting something that's not just my kids all the time. I think that makes for a slightly special month when I can add something else into my scrapbook. So as you can see by the look here, I am keeping it quite monochromatic. Um, <clears throat> those gift tags, uh, so the Oh Hello there is from last month's ephemera um, and but the one underneath that is the cut apart page from a uh, cut apart page from Paige Evans Wonders. Uh, also, that series of moons is also from last last month's kit as well with the um, a packet of ephemera in that as well. But it was just perfect. How could I not use that? And then obviously I've got the Polaroid camera and the bulldog clip from the Vicky Boot and Color Study ephemera. Um, here is the title I'm going to use. So the Truly Amazing is the little thickest that we got from the Pink Paisley Thickers. And then I just pulled some black thickers from my stash and I'm simply writing Solar Eclipse. So Truly Amazing Solar Eclipse. I couldn't remember if this one had like, you know, was it a blue moon or a red moon or a, I don't know. I don't know if it had a special title. So I just went with the word Solar Eclipse because it is one. Um, even if there is a more technical term for it, I was happy to go with that. Um, and just fixing up my little F to turn it into an E here. I do definitely doctor my thickers because I want to try and use as many of them as I can. But doctoring for E's is constant. Why do they never put enough E's? Anyway, moving on. Obviously, one of those super cute um, arrows from the Vicky Booten. <clears throat> you might notice I've got a little stash of sequins off to my left there. When you're making shaker pockets, I always suggest keeping just a little, little, little teeny amount in case you want to splatter them. If you don't want to splatter them around, doesn't matter. You don't have to, but you have them. If you do decide at the end of your layout, oh, a few sequins splattered around like m might look pretty, and you've put them all inside your shaker pocket, we well, can't have any, can you? Because they're all in your shaker pocket. So I definitely recommend just keeping a couple out 
so you can add those around the page if you feel like it's necessary. Now I do feel like it's necessary and I'm going to add some of these around my page. I actually don't even use as many as what I keep to my side. Um, that was a bit too much but I do just add a couple just to sort of carry that blue and sparkle around the page and also it ties in the shaker pocket as well. Um, you will notice in my close-up photos that there is a little bit of a difference in the entire layout. I trimmed off a little bit of blue of the whole paper of the blue paper from the top and the side of the right hand side of the side that's currently on the right of this photo of this image um, so that I could mat the entire page on a really skinny white mat just sort of I felt it tied in the cut file a little bit better and I also changed that bottom cluster just a tinsy bit the the strip of moons I actually pulled that off a touch and just um, made it a little bit higher off the page so it's not touching the bottom of the of the blue and I also put the side of the Polaroid on top of the oh hello there tag super little changes but it really made a difference to how this layout came together so I did want to add that to you just adds a little bit more white space um, and a little bit more sort of purpose around each of the clusters so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed my process video and i will see you all next time